Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris. It's July 31st, the last day of July. Where's summer going? And what would you do with $20 billion? Let's get to the biggest headlines in real estate. New home sales were down in June 6.8% nationwide. The National Association of Realtors reported a 1.8% decrease in pending home sales. That's the first time this year to see sales actually de decrease. The home ownership rate decreased also in the second quarter to its lowest in almost 50 years. It's now standing at 63.4%. A recent ruling by the New Hampshire Supreme Court established that MERS indeed has the authority to foreclose, something that we all know has been contested under the show me the note strategy. In Pergeron versus New York Community Bank, the case was brought before the court after the plaintiff accused the bank of not being able, uh, not being the true holder of the note, and well, it just didn't work. The second of three hearings entitled Dodd-Frank Five Years Later, Are We More Prosperous? actually happened this week. The House Financial Services Committee is reviewing its success of the Dodd-Frank Act over the past five years since it was created. The overwhelming theme for the senators and witnesses that came before the group says it's just overreached its bounds and actually has inhibited growth compared to recoveries of the past. The first hearing happened on July 9th and that was called Dodd-Frank Five Years Later, Are We More Stable? And the next one is coming up, uh, Not it's not announced yet, but it's going to be called Are We More Free? That'll be an interesting one. The Federal Reserve has decided to keep the federal rate the same until the labor market continues to improve, it's said in July. Inflation is running lower than the 2% that they are targeting, so despite some positive signs in the market, the Feds aren't ready to increase rates just yet, and Janet Yellen hasn't set a date on when she plans to do so, so wait and see. So it turns out there is $20 billion in surplus funds from unused foreclosure prevention programs. Capitol Hill is suggesting maybe diverting some of those funds to roadways and infrastructure, which we badly need. Some groups are saying that our bridges are only at a C plus and there's some infrastructure that gets a D rating and we need actually trillions of work. If you had $20 billion and you were an elected, what would you do to put America back to work? And that would make the most sense. Leave comments below. Don't forget to favorite, like, and subscribe. And for many more headlines, you can check out thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Up on the radio show this week, we've got our second interview with Eric Hernandez talking all things commercial real estate. Don't usually get to cover that topic, so good stuff. August 13th, California real estate market uh, timing update in Corona with Tigar. August 14th, California real estate market update with Tri-Counties Association of Realtors. And then you'll catch us in Glendale on August 18th with uh, Secrets to Becoming Wealthy, and that's with Bruce Norris, uh, Invest Club for Women, and uh, Tony Watson from Robert Holland Associates. And August 19th, we'll be back in Irvine doing How to Make a Hundred thousand dollars per deal in 2015. So for more information on our hard money lending programs, check out the norrisgroup.com. We've got fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction dollars for you to do your projects. Uh, for more information on passive investing with trustees with the Norris Group, check out tngtrustees.com. With that, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.